Thousands of years ago, early men were predominantly nomadic as they were always searching for new places to settle temporarily. Dwellings were made out of tree trunks, branches and twigs, leaves, animal furs and skins. Some of these findings date back as 400,000 years BC. To avoid having to search for the required building materials after every change of location, the nomads collected materials which could be quickly and easily assembled, after a time dismantled and simply taken away with them. The need for a method of construction that requires lesser crew, quicker turnaround time, cost-effective structure, superior quality, more sustainability and less site disruption came up. Prefabrication Prefab is a method of construction that is um, it's actually created off-site. It's not created on-site. It's created off-site in a factory and um, put together either in the factory or you can go to the location, put together on the location. So um, there are different types and different materials that it's made of, but Carmo uh, makes their uh, prefab products with grade A steel. So, um, you know, we like to tell people that, oh, it lasts 20 years, but to be honest with you, it lasts 50, 60 years. To let you know how much we believe in prefab, our office is made out of prefab products, 100% strictly prefab products. That's how much we at Carmode believe in prefabricated materials. We are majorly kind of housings that you get according to your standard, your, the shape you want, your design, you might have something in mind you, that you really want to have a structure that looks like it. Some even go to the extent of doing like an L-shape kind of house, some do like a V-shape, all those stuff. So with the prefab housing, you can achieve all of that. A lot of Nigerians don't know so much about um, prefab. And because of that, they're skeptical. They think, oh, it's... It's just house that you do coco -co -co and the thing will fall down. But um, aside from the fact that, you know, our office is, is built with prefab, you know, our office is on the highway. So cars are flying by, you know, the wind is, is passing it. And to let you know, our structure has been there for more than, I think, four years. So, you know, if you look at it, you wouldn't even be able to know. It looks new. It's neat. Rain, everything hits our building. And it's still standing just like a normal building. They are very fast even in a day, two days, you can just get your housing, it's complete and you're already living inside. Having it anywhere around where the market is going on, very well, you have it there, then a time comes where maybe competitors are all over you or it's no longer moving the way you expected. You can as well pick your structure, take it somewhere else and continue your business. So, and even in terms of costing, prefabs are not really that expensive the way people think. Instead of you going to maybe pay a landlord or landlady a, a particular amount, maybe your business is not even really moving fast. It's not even turning up the way it's supposed to be. You have your, your shelter, your prefab. Then you find somewhere else, you rent a land, you, you know, have your business going as fine as you want. Prefab, factory built homes, modular building, off-site construction. I mean, it goes by many different names. But the concept is still the same, which is building structures in a manufacturing type setting. Prefabricated construction has been promoted as an innovative process in the architecture, engineering and construction industry to reduce construction time and waste. Prefab buildings have been used as temporary housing during disasters such as hurricanes and earthquakes. These houses are also commonly referred to as mobile homes, trailer parks, manufactured homes and factory built homes. More and more building professionals are becoming aware of the benefits of prefab construction method. Prefabrication buildings are proving to be an extremely viable option with continuous improvement in manufacturing technology. It's so flexible that you can really have every kind of uh, you know, aesthetic touches on it than the building. And in the sense, because of that shape something, you know, houses are not really like that. I know you can achieve many kind of shapes with the block and mortar houses, but for prefabs, you can have people, you can want it to look like just like a glass house, like a plastic. They have so many aesthetics that you can introduce into prefabs. There are certain things maybe that need to be done urgently. Um, some of the 
the people we've worked with are, you know, some of the government agencies. So, for example, they need something and they need it immediately, they need it urgently, like the IDP camps. You will hear so many things about people losing their homes, whether to the um, to the terrorist attacks or to um, natural disasters. So we are looking to, we're eager to come in, you know, but like I said, Nigeria still needs a lot of education and sensitization to what we do, but we're looking forward to the future. The future looks very bright. Almost all the building materials can be used in prefabricated form. Presently, wood, concrete, and steel are the predominant materials used in prefabrication of houses. Prefab homes, also known as panelized housing, are touted as the future of building for several reasons, ranging from overall cost diminution to sustainability and because it could solve housing crisis. The process begins when a manufacturer receives raw materials and other components needed to construct a particular type of home. Once the material arrives at the plant, workers assemble them together until the final product is completed. Some factories use automated equipment to help speed up the assembly process. With focus on minimal design and environmentally friendly materials, prefab homes are often a more simple and sustainable housing option. Factory production allows companies to build prefab homes more efficiently with less resources and less waste, and myriad variations on different designs allow for simple yet creative customization. You can assemble on site. There are customers that they, their space, you know, will make use of a crane to lift and, and drop them, so, but there are some areas where the crane cannot have access to. So we have to take the cabins inside there and couple them okay. in, the, in the person's house or the okay. area, yes. More people couple on site because of the crane and all that. So when the crane step on their interlock, it's the damage or so. So we just get the items there, then couple them. These are the panel walls, yes. You can see the insulation material. This is oh, the PU, the polyurethane. This is metal, so they are insulated against sound. We sound. have sound and fire. These are fireproof, fire. yes. For some people, the question is, why live in a building that can easily be carried? Well, I'm standing right in the middle of a skeletal framework of a two-bedroom prefabricated building. And guess what? This is supposed to be the parlor, while we have like two rooms here and maybe the toilet or kitchen somewhere here. Fascinating, right? Before, people feel is is uh, something that is movable. Somebody can just come and pick you up where you are sleeping and just take you away, but not really like that. You can, you know, mount it on the ground. Some even fix it, then take blocks or something to cover it, to hold it. They even have different types. They have the ones that are bulletproof. They have, they are majorly soundproof, where you, you are inside and you're not even hearing a noise outside. So, and with, Prefab houses, you can just have, there's, there's an estate that we built. It's an estate, it's just prefab. You know, it's like it's unique, it's just different from everybody. And the whole advantage of it is that you can always move it anytime. You can, you know, decide to go back to your state or something. You carry your car, you go there, you mount it, then you set up again. Not like the houses where tomorrow they tell you, so so person bought the land before the demolition people came and spoil everything for you. But prefab, you can move it. If they say the land is no longer your own today, instead of going back and front, you just carry your, your belongings, go somewhere else, set it again, continue your life. All of what we have here, you want to dismantle it, even just a day. Even our office, you dismantle all of that in pieces, then you can convey it to wherever you want to. These are caps, like a floor base. So it's either you're doing a proper foundation, or you just want to use a, a cap, just like what we have. You can see most of them are sitting on it. A study revealed that Nigeria's housing deficit now stands at 28 million, and a concerted effort at reducing it is highly required. Experts say unless more houses are built, the gap will only widen, and millions will lack affordable shelter. To be honest with you, there's a deficit in the housing um, 
in the housing market in Nigeria, you know, people, especially in the big towns, people are really, um, they're looking for housing. They're looking for affordable, fast housing. And there is, like I said, there's a deficit in housing, especially affordable housing for uh, the masses of Nigeria. And I think prefab can definitely come in to, um, to solve that problem. Prefab, um, unlike the uh, traditional method, is very fast, quick and easy. You can have a building, a house, within a week if you would like. So it's, it's honestly the future, and I, I'm excited and passionate about prefab. To beat homelessness, new building production techniques should be fully explored in the country to provide fast, timely, and cheap homes for Nigerians.